Okay, so basically you can see I filled in the wars, the girl, right? I've got a nice tree going on here. Got some branches going, some little flowing um, stems. So what we're gonna do now while that's drying is we're just gonna add a little bit of purple. You can see on this one, there's some purple kind of moonlight coming off. And we're just gonna put some of that in. Um, just a light little, and it's gonna look a little bit bright because it, it's, um, it's on a dry canvas. But, and you can put as much as, or as little as you want. If you want to blend it, just add some water to have it blend a little bit. Oops, I got some, uh, I need a different brush. Hold on. And make sure your brushes are clean. You might want to rinse the water after you do the black, just so that you've got a cleaner water. So I'm not going to put in too much, but I just want to kind of get that feeling of depth that you're going to get. And kind of bringing the accent back to the moon. So one thing that I did when I first did it was around the moon, I kind of kept it light with the blue to give it sort of a glow. So you see how it's got a, like a green glow. So don't get too close to the moon because you, that's going to give it the depth. So just, um, just a little bit of lavender in there. too much. That looks good. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take your pointed brush, either this size or this size, and we're going to put in the grass here. So the way you do it is you just flick up with the brush. So not too much paint, a little bit of water so it's not too thick okay and, and then if you want to add a tiny some tiny little more uh, stems up here you can but I'm just going to quick do that and then the last thing we're going to do is if you want and you don't have to but um, a few stars in it so this has to dry first and then we can put a little a few stars in. I'm just going to wipe this a little bit I just don't want quite as much so paper towels are great to have handy okay so I'm going to go with the black and just get this grass going on. Can you still see if I'm sitting? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can see when you do the grass, you're going to start at the bottom and go up. And it's always thicker bottom right so just kind of random different directions which makes it a little bit more realistic you can see the grass is going different ways
also twirling the two so the paint's on it even and I got this nice little point here of paint that I can just kind of like flick up and it's not too light. And then over here, these look like, uh, what do you call those things? Like the sea grasses? Yeah, yeah. swamp grass. Swamp, with the big brown thing on it. What? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what these seem like because they've got these little, I don't know what those are, little things on the end. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can just do more grass over here, but it just sort of adds a little bit of interest. We've got these um, big weeds going on. And then while you've got the black, if you want to add a little bit more up here, some more um, thin little branches, you can. Although I think we're doing pretty good over here. So, um, and then just check over, stand back, take a look at it, make sure that all your black is filled in since it is a silhouette or shadow, you don't really want any white showing through. So make sure you go to the end of the canvas. Touch up anything that looks a little off. going to make it my grass over here a little bit darker. Okay, so we're just about done. And now what we're going to do is just add a few little stars. So you're going to need your white paint and the tiniest brush you have, which is probably going to be similar to this. I actually have another one here I'm going to use. So really tiny, get it wet, and you're just going to dot in your white. Just here and there. Doesn't have to be fancy. Up here, I can see a lot of them are stars or little crosses. I don't think we need to do that. I think you get the feeling of stars. How's that look from there? Good. And it adds to that little mystical feel. Different sizes. You can even use a Q-tip. If you don't have a tiny brush, you can just use a little Q-tip. That should work too. Take the little fuzzy part off though and just use the stem and stick that in. look. Okay, I'm going to put in a few more stars. I'm trying not to make them look like a pattern. 
more random. So you might want to cluster them, a few together. And I think we're done. Ta-da! I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching.